So I did not rinse the bearings. Did not rinse them. I washed them about every five minutes or so with clean mineral spirits in a mason jar. Popping them out. I didn't talk about that last time. But I took two by four on the ground, took the rod, I lifted it up, and I just let it, let it drop while I pushed down on the red thing. Putting these back in, and this is important because if you don't do it, similar to this, you will end up destroying your bearings. And popping them out like that, I'm lucky that I didn't destroy them. Putting them back in, what, I, what I'm doing is I found a socket, this one's 7 8 inch, that just barely fits in there. Got it? No bearing. Socket fits in. This goes around the outside race. And then you take a hammer. And let's see if I can do this one-handed here. Ideally, it works better with two hands. Okay, so that will seat. This is not seated, by the way. That will seat the bearing um, into whatever this thing's called. Okay, so I got them out, got them in. Oh, I have not put any min uh, mineral oil on these yet either. That way, I've got a little bit of grip to hold it in. And then I'm going to come back with a Q tip and just run. Um, mineral oil around the outside of the bearings you do it two or three times just get them a little bit lubricated and yeah curious to find out how well it works um, order of operation putting them back in so I put with the bearing this back on the axle Got a lock nut, lock nut goes on. There's a washer. There's the washer, lock washer, acorn. 